Yo, what's going on guys? Matthew Behans here, aka The Clock Master. We're here to check out Reacher Season 1, Episode 1. Um, Alright, let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. <laughs> I don't know anything about Reacher, I just know I've heard the name for so long, like over the years, Jack Reacher this, the books, um, Tom Cruise, Jack Reacher, so I don't have any source material information to go off of i don't have any movie knowledge to go off of when watching this so i'm um, the main reason i got into this series is because um uh hank my man hank <laughs> from titans um is in this and i heard he was gonna you know he's getting the lead role to play you know uh jack reacher so i'm like okay that's gonna be pretty dope maybe this is the time to get into that type of um storyline and his story and you know see where it goes so um by the time you guys have seen this i did a review to the entire season um already so if you guys make sure to go ahead and check that out um got a chance to see these early um uh, because you know i get a chance to see these early for review so um my review for the entire season should already be up already by the time you're watching this video um so please make sure you go ahead and check that out because my reactions are going to be posted um throughout as we go, go through the episodes so um anyways guys let's get right into it i have no idea what to expect uh i'm just excited to see where this goes man i'm definitely intrigued from the trailer and everything with the main characters so let's see where it goes and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. My full length watch alongs um, are on Patreon. The link is down below for that if you're interested. Let's get right into it. Talk about it later as you normally do. Let's get into it now. God damn. 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 You think you got him? Jeez. Margaret, Georgia. Oh boy. Good man. Like a 40% chip. I messed up, okay? Okay. when you're wasting my goddamn money? Yo. Get your ass in the van. tell me, baby. Won't happen again. This boy, all you gotta do is look at him. <laughs> Coffee? Black? Best you're gonna find in Georgia. You see this big dude looking at you. What you gonna do? <laughs> You're under arrest for murder. Hmm. Come on. Me do it. You can move faster than that. <laughs> the intense of slowness in that scene. If you step over here, I she's can like, with you. She's like so quiet and poised. Answer, I'm telling. Yep. No need. I've got it from here. Hmm. Take him to the conference room. I'll be in in a moment. That gives my man. Yo. Mr. Reacher, I'm Chief Detective Oscar Finley. You know who this man was? How you wound up dead? Hmm. Anything you want to share Jeez. besides your riveting company? <laughs> I don't need a lawyer. Oh, there you go. He speaks. When he wants to. And why don't you need a lawyer? <clears throat> because I didn't kill anybody. And not in this town. This is kind of impossible. What's that? This Reacher fella. What's five bucks? From the looks of it, you're Jackie. Jack. <laughs> yeah. I'm big for my... <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. They've been through this already. You don't have to do this. Oh boy. My fight. It's never just your fight. Oh, they've been through this already. You know, mama's right. Oh, they about to get Millie wobbed. Oh man, I wanted to see that fight. <laughs> I wanted to see that fight, bro. He's right away. Roscoe, we're taking a ride. Got a hit on my phone number. Sorry, ceramic. Yeah, you can't leave that with him. Yeah, that was smart. They can't. They definitely can't leave that with him because he could break it, man. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was actually very smart. Your cell number was. That man could have broke out of it the whole time. You guys recycle. <laughs> oh, the swag, Outside, bro. Austin does. He and Hubble were looking at each other. They looked at each other. They held eye contact for a full two Mississippi. Stevenson and Hubble <laughs> have cousins that married each other. He's just worried about family. 
It's more than that. You're a bean town bitch, and from all appearances, you're well educated, but you took a job in the middle of nowhere with people that look nothing like you. You're stubborn, you have a chip on your shoulder, and PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper southern soup, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. There's no woman in your life, man. That's right. Death or divorce. At your age, divorce is a higher probability, but you still wear the ring. Weed. And I assume nicotine withdrawal. But a study show it takes four to six months to fully break a habit. God, this guy's so good. You keep up the good work, though. This guy is good. Back inside. This guy just read his whole life. Follow me. The dude just read his whole. The dude just read his whole life, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks. For the watch thing. Shut up. <laughs> you ruined my trip here. <laughs> Might be a little tight on the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> he had to mention the big Samoan dude. Whoa! Not so fast. It's a hospital. Since that's the only contraband related to this crime, your request is unlawful. <laughs> I think I wanna do this. Yeah, you Regulations do. Say. The only thing up my ass right now is you. Go for it. Otherwise, <laughs> check the box on your clipboard. <laughs> Dude is just like really quick with his responses. He knows what he's saying. He knows what he wants to say. Yo. Man, there's just one more thing I want from you. Uh oh. What you want? To give you a choice. See, you're in my house, Fatso, and you didn't ask permission. <laughs> so you and your friends can leave now, or they can carry your fat ass out in a bucket. Damn. Bitch. Do you know who you're talking to? One. Two. <laughs> you owe us a pair of glasses. Bro! Oh my god! Uh oh. I don't sense a good thing about to happen here. Mm hmm. Oh boy. One. <laughs> Damn! Jeez! Oh! 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 Them. Oh! Bro! Oh! Bro! 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 Oh my god. Oh, they weren't even supposed to be downstairs. <laughs> they were supposed to be up there. Jeez. Dude's a freaking monster. <laughs> Dude freaking wrecked the mess out of them. God damn. Having strapped the remains of a jawbone in his abdomen. God dang. Don't do it. Oh, he did that for himself. Oh, yeah. The cigarettes. Just t shirt and jeans. I travel light. <laughs> That's my way, bro. Just. Instead of, t instead of jeans, you just uh, sweatpants. They'll be new to me. T shirt and sweatpants this is my vibe. I don't get it. Don't you want a home base or something? He's a good guy. Where's he? No idea. Mmm. Okay, what if his brother... So what really brought you to Margrave? What if his brother set them up? I don't lie to people who get me out of jail. Hey, who's this big dude? 
So he was this fella. Yeah, that truck was suspicious. It was around the corner, too. I don't know what's up with that truck. Is that homeboy? So Ms. Roscoe cleared you, so I ain't scared of you none. <laughs> My age ain't scared of nothing much. <laughs> That's facts. And everyone just calls me Reacher. Yeah, that truck was tailing him since the corner when he first got on there. You looking for a dance partner? Okay. He got way too much information on him. So how the hell he know that? Honestly, though, he has a clear alibi. I don't see why he gotta, why he gotta stay you there. Dead and you don't even know it. That's how my brother got the scar. Oh. Oh, now it's personal. <laughs> Detective really is giving him a reason to, though. He's annoying me, too. But he has, like, a, a pride that he's trying to, uh, I guess, hold up to or, you know, keep. I guess I'll find everybody responsible. And kill him. And kill every last one of them. <laughs> this dude just says it in the back of the cop car. <laughs> Love this song. Hey. Hey. This is my song. Freak, man. That was a... That was cinema right there. Actually, <laughs> I really like that episode. Let me turn the uh, let me turn the lights back up real quick. Crap, dude. That was, that was a ton of fun that was really good it reminds me of, like the shows that i i because normally i wouldn't react to show like this this would just be shows that i just like watch on my own um but my mom and i loved like mystery um you know mystery murder actiony types of shows like macgyver and like knight rider like growing up watching those and then watching like the reboots from macgyver too and like um getting into those types of stuff man we've always loved watching that together so it just kind of reminds me of that um, I have a feeling that's kind of where this the show is going. I, like I said, I don't know much about Jack Reacher. I mean, I, I just heard things about him being like, like ex-military or whatever. Like that's probably the extent of my knowledge of him. Really, I don't know nothing about. I don't know. I know nothing about him. Um, but just from just watching this first, excuse me, this first episode, I can see like he's good at detective work. He's good at um, analyzation. He's good at situational awareness. Like he's just really off the charts loses free is a freaking beast and obviously his combative skills are just off the charts as well like this guy is extremely skilled in multiple uh in multiple systems so um obviously he knows about his guns he knows about this you're all the crap that he did do was an mp solve mad cases like and i'm you know for being an mp and being that good um so i'm guessing that's just what he really was being an mp being that good having that many cases solving them is insane like it's absolutely insane that you can like you have so much success on on the job that way guy's an absolute beast so hopefully we actually go more into his past and um his upbringing to kind of see where he's at and stuff but he's a dude's a freaking beast man like if i read if the stories were like this you know are like this as a kid man if i had watched this um or read his stories as a kid man i would have probably wanted to be an mp2 like i probably would have grew up wanting to join the military <laughs> because of this guy like this guy is like could be i could see him be easily being a lot of people's hero in terms of like you know i don't know where he stands loyalty wise i don't know if he just if he joined the military because he's like uh you know he he loves you know his country or he just joined it because that's just what he was used to like his mom it just seemed like his mom was like in the marines or whatever or his, his mom um worked they, you know they were in europe military family traveling all the time so uh it's safe to assume that he grew up well not safe to assume he said he grew up in, in military military family and always moving around and always doing stuff like that so it was really interesting with the twist with his brother at the end um i i, I was kind of trying to figure out how his brother was going to come into play i was like maybe his brother um i was like maybe his brother would be the guy who's maybe i don't know trying to set him up for some type of war revenge path kind of thing um but that that doesn't appear to be the case here 
But man, like this was, like I said, this is a really freaking good episode, man. Awesome introduction to a really dope character. That fight scene in the jail, mm, top tier, top tier, amazing stuff. Um, yeah, man, he just milly the mess out of everybody. <laughs> it's like, give you one, two, three, ah! That was insane, that was insane. Literally messed them up. Um, that was really good. That was it was entertaining in that sense, and I think the story is also entertaining as well. There's so much to do with the, with the detective. He got he has a past. He has a lot of things. Obviously, his pride and his ego, as as um as as Jack uh, Reacher said, like um obviously you know come into a town where he's trying to prove his worth in the middle of nowhere where no one looks like him. Like like I get like I get it. Like you know you want to prove um that you can be more than what people think you are based on your race. Um, I've definitely been there. I know a lot of people who's been there, like that go out of their way to, 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 I guess, go against a, a stereotype or maybe, you know, grew up in a certain type of home and, you know, you don't want to be what people tell you should be because of who you are, where you grew up or what you look like. So, and from that perspective, obviously as a black guy, I understand that. Um, but I feel like there's more to the, uh, I think like there's more to the detective and his actual, you know, besides those reasons, more of a different reason as to why he's doing what he's doing. And obviously he has a very complicated past. He has an addiction that he's trying to work over. Like there's a lot going on with him as well. And there's obviously a huge sense of pride. I feel like him and Reacher can grow to become really good friends. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's just where the show is gonna go, but I could easily see them learning to trust and maybe like each other a little bit. <laughs> I can totally see that uh, going somewhere. Could be wrong, could be wrong, hundred percent wrong, but um, but we'll see. Hey, sorry, something fell down over there. Yeah, but yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm super excited, um, just to see where this goes, man. I'm very, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving where, man. Again, that fight scene is everything with his his whole like attitude, his demeanor, like how calmly and like uh, you know, confident he is with the things he's saying. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next episode, guys. We're going to jump straight into it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my reactions to Reacher, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm already excited about the series. This dude said at the end, uh, like, I'm going to kill them. Like, <laughs> get him back at the cop. Man, Alan Ritson, man, he's he's uh, he's really good. Um, He's perfect, man. I'm glad that they, they got him uh, for this role and he's able to get, like, a role separate from Hank. Um, and Titans and actually really be his own thing, man. Like, this is really dope. I can't wait to see how crazy things will get, man. Oh, man. If you get like, yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting. Love the plot already. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Clockmaster, out.